I'm also very interested in social media and one of my sort of uh, day jobs is to train people in how they use social media. Yeah. So for me, and I'm going to say this is my piece of research, I want to find out how Alan uses social media in his business. That's my objective. Now he's agreed to be interviewed by me for a few minutes. Um, but in this case, we're not interested really in what Alan wants, we're interested in how he uses social media in his business. Yeah. So in this case, I'll be introducing more of my own content into the process, because I'll start by saying, how do you use social media in your business? Um, it depends which aspect of it I'm dealing with, mm -hmm. sort of three or four different operations and I found from some previous work that I've done that some things work better in some areas mm. and other things work better in other areas. So you've got three or four areas. Mm. What's one area? Uh, one area is promoting the consultancy work that we've been talking mm -hmm. about. And promoting consultancy work. Yeah. What kind of consultancy work? Um, well it's usually the, you know, the kind of things that we've been talking about already, how do we go and you know, I would be given a particular topic which might be, uh, let's talk about the, the, the next one that I'm doing, which is about, actually, funnily enough, it's how people in supply chains use social media, mm -hmm. which is quite different from the earlier phase of the project. Mm -hmm. And I would go and talk to them about, you know, do they use LinkedIn, do they use Facebook, you know, do they use Facebook, mm -hmm. do they use Twitter, in the case of sort of early adopters who are you know, produce, promoting a consultancy business, they might well use all of those. Mm -hmm. Somebody who's in a supply chain, who's supplying the defence industry, mm -hmm. may well um, feel constrained to use that, and they might just mm -hmm. use LinkedIn as a contact generating tool, for example. Right. And you use social media to promote that consultancy business. Mm -hmm. And is there anything else about how you use social media to promote that consultancy business? Um, well, you have to kind of look at who's going to see it and then use the different aspects appropriately. So I don't think there would, for example, there would be much point in setting up a fan page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Although for one of the other projects, which is basically sort of selling gizmos to gardeners, it's actually really quite useful. So selling gizmos to gar gardeners, fan page on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Anything else for selling gizmos to gardeners? Um, being on Amazon is quite good mm -hmm. because, Am because Amazon has got an enormous catchment and if you have a good selling record, which mm -hmm. we actually do, it makes it very easy for people to buy. Mm -hmm. So gizmos for gardeners, then it's fan page on Facebook, being on Amazon, anything else? Um, yeah, we have, I have a sort of blog site which I upload. Mm -hmm. If I get around to it two or three <laughs> times a week and if I don't get around to it, it might go ten days between posts. But and what, what kind of updates when you do get around to it? Um, could be, there's a little sort of plant science mm -hmm. strand, there's, uh, there's topical tips, mm -hmm. there's sort of reviews of products that I'm trying to sell and just occasionally I might put in a recipe, mm -hmm. plus some photographs of what we're doing around the place. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else for gizmos for gardeners using social media? Um, we could probably, well, I could probably use Twitter more effectively than I do because at the moment what just goes out there is is the posts that go on the blog site mm -hmm. are hooked up so that they automatically get tweeted. Mm -hmm. And I could probably do it a bit better by linking those things directly through to the fan page, which I haven't actually done yet. So oh, so you haven't linked those things through? Well, I'll do, I'm doing it manually. Mm -hmm. If I had millions of them. I mm -hmm. do that. And what you do do is you link the blog posts and, and they get tweeted. Mm. Oh, and that, that automatic. Yeah. And going back to the consultancy, yeah. is there anything else about how to use social media to promote the consultancy side? Um, you have to try and not... I think one of the things I've learned is you have to separate extraneous stuff mm. out of it. It, it, it's kind of one of the issues that you have with doing two or three different projects is that there's a limit to how much you can have the streams mixed because mm -hmm. people get quite confused yeah. quite easily and uh, so you have to kind of take it apart and restructure it so 
one of the things that you have to think about is how many Twitter accounts do you actually need? You know? Mm -hmm. Because up till now, it's all been going out as at Alan Ray, mm. because I, I think it's important for personal branding reasons mm. and credibility to yeah. walk under your own name. Um, but for the Intelligent Garden, it's just getting in the way, so I've hived that off as at Intelligarden. Mm -hmm. And um, one of the things that I've noticed actually is that a lot of people who are in that organic gardening space have kind of found some mechanism for for having a content aggregator, mm -hmm. which just basically picks up any reference from anywhere and just spews it out as part of their Twitter feed. And actually, it's not working for them mm -hmm. because you just look at it and you think, oh, this is just, you know, there's nothing authentic here. They're just picking mm -hmm. up stuff from all over the place. And just, and just, and just you know, <laughs> come and drink from my fire hose. So you mm -hmm. have to be kind of a bit, you know, there's, there's a sort of element of less is more. Mm -hmm. And when less is more, how do you use it for the entire garden? Um, well, I'm still feed I'm still sort of evolving mm. that. Right. And different Twitter accounts? I think that I, in that case, I need to separate it. The mm -hmm. question then is, do I need to subdivide it for some of the other things? Mm -hmm. um, but you, you, you see, technically, you can connect everything up together. Mm -hmm. But if you do that, you get it becomes a bit of a porridge. And then you start to lose credibility, I think. Mm. So you have to be really quite strategic in the way that you sort of put the, you know, that you hook everything together. So I'm at kind of the stage, having been playing with it, I now have to take it apart, put it back together. But we'll go about that. Mm -hmm.